From a plant that looks like a poisonous snake to a deadly species that can catch rats and lizards, these are 12 of the most terrifying carnivorous plants in the world. Number 12, Dianea Musipula. Dianea Musipula, also known as a Venus flytrap, is probably the most well-known carnivorous plant in the world. Native to subtropical wetlands on the east coast of the United States in North Carolina and South Carolina, this terrifying plant catches insects and spiders with a trapping structure formed by the terminal portion of each of the plant's leaves. This is triggered by tiny hairs on their inner surfaces. The edges of the trap are fringed by stiff hairs that uh, are like protisserus, which intertwined together to prevent large prey from escaping. When an insect or spider comes in contact with a hair, the trap prepares to close, snapping shut only if another content occurs within approximately 20 seconds of the first strike. Triggers may occur if just one-tenth of the insects is within contact. Number 11, Aldrovanda visiculosa. Aldrovanda viculosa, commonly known as a water wheel plant, is a rootless aquatic plant that captures small water invertebrates using traps similar to those of the Venus flytrap. The traps are arranged in whorls around a center, free floating stems. These traps are twisted so that the trap openings point towards are outward and inside by fine coating of triggered hairs, snapping shut in response to contact with small animals and trapping them. The closing of this trap takes 10 to 20 milliseconds, which makes the water wheel one of the fastest moving plants in the kingdom. Before we move on with our list, take a second to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming content. Number 10, Bibus. Bibus is a small carnivorous plant native to Western Australia, the beautiful yet deadly plant with elegant flowers and sparkling leaves that shimmer in the sunlight preys on live. The lives of Bibulus are round in cross-section and are highly elongated. The surface of the leaves is densely studded with hairs which secrete and substance that attracts small insects upon touching the sticky secretions the insects are insured and unless they are strong enough to escape they either die of exhaustion or literally suffocate as the sticky substance envelops them and clogs the pores on their bodies number nine Drosera. Drosera, commonly known as the sundews, is one of the largest groups of carnivorous plants with at least 194 species. These terrifying plants lure, capture, and digest insects using stalked secreting glands covering their leaf surfaces. The insects are used to supplement the poor mineral nutrition of the oil in which the plants grow. Drosera species vary greatly in size and form and are native to every continent except Antarctica. They're also one of the longest living carnivorous plants able to achieve a lifespan of around 50 years. Both the botanical name derived from the Greek Duroso, which means dew or dewdrops, and the English common name sundew refer to the glistening drops of fluid at the tip of each tentacle that resemble drops of morning dew. Number eight, Pinguilosa. Pinguiloca, also known as the Buttworth, is a group of carnivorous plants that use sticky leaves to attract, trap, and digest insects. Of the roughly 80 currently known species, 12 of the native to Europe, 9 to North America, and some to Northern Asia, the largest number of species is in South and Central America. In order to catch and digest insects, the leaf of a Butterworth uses two specialized glands which are scattered across the leaf surface. One is called a pedicular gland and consists of a few secretory cells on top of a single stalk cell which produces a secretion that forms visible droplets across the leaf surface. This wet appearance probably helps attract thirsty insects and this is how they're trapped. Number 7. Ultricularia. Ultricularia is a genus of carnivorous plants consisting of approximately 233 species. They occur in freshwater and wet soil as terrestrial or aquatic species across every continent except Antarctica. All Eulatrillaria are carnivorous and 
small organisms with the help of their bladder, like traps, is how they capture animals. Terrestrial species tend to have tiny traps that feed on minute prey, such as protozo and ratifers swimming in water saturated soil. The trap can range in size from 0.2 millimeters to 1.2 centimeters. Aquatic species, however, possess bladders that are usually larger and can feed on bigger prey, such as waterflies, nematodes, and even fish fry, mosquito larvae, and young tadpoles. Number six, Helamphora. The genus Helamphora contains 23 species of carnivorous plants endemic to South America. Most Helamphora live on the plateaus of the tabletop mountains in Guiana, Venezuela, and Brazil. The species are collectively known as sun pitchers based on the notion that the heli of Helamphora comes from the Greek word helipos, meaning sun. Helamphora plants consist of a modified leaf form that is fused into a tubular shape. They have enveloped mechanisms to attract, trap, and kill insects. Number five. Darlingtonia californocia. Darlingtonia californiaca, also called the California pitcher plant, cobra lily or cobra plant, is a species of carnivorous plant native to Northern California and Oregon. Growing in bogs and seeps with cold running water, the name cobra lily comes from the resemblance of its tubular leaves to a rearing cobra, complete with a fork leaf that resembles fangs or a snake's tongue. Like most carnivorous plants, the cobra lily is adapted to supplementing its nitrogen requirements through carnivory, which helps to compensate for lack of available nitrogen in acidic bogs. Number four, Cephalotus. Cephalotus is a small carnivorous pitcher plant that occurs in southern constal districts of the southwest botanical province in Australia. Like most carnivorous plants, it is commonly found in wet sea pages and it prefers soil that is pretty and sandy, with good drainage. Cephalus are often found growing in the partial shade of bushes and grasses and damp open areas. Sometimes colonies of Cephalurus are found growing only a few feet away from the ocean and mossy banks with fresh water running through them. These are ideal circumstances for Cephalotus. Number three, Genlisea. Genlisea, also known as corkscrew plants, is a genius of Coralewis plants distributed throughout Africa and Central and South America. The plants use highly modified underground leaves to attract, trap, digest microorganisms. Several species in the Gunas are known to possess the smallest known genomes of all flowering plants. Genlisea are small herbs growing from a slander rhizome and bearing two distinct leaf types. Photosynthetic leaves above ground and highly modified subterranean leaves used to trap prey. Number two, Nepenthes. Nepenthes, also known as tropical pitcher plants, is a group of about 170 carnivorous plants whose habits range from South China, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines to Madagascar and Seleucia, Australia, India, and Sri Lanka. The greatest diversity occurs on Borneo, Sumatara, and the Philippines with many endemic species. Nephonis species usually consist of a shallow root system and a stem, which is often several meters long. Number one, Sarancia. Sarancia is a genus comprising eight to 11 species of North American pitcher plants, commonly called trumpet pitchers. The plant is known for its unusual leaves, which have enveloped into a funnel or pitcher shape in order to trap insects. The plant attracts to its prey and secretions on the lip of the pitcher leaves, as well as combination of the leaves color and scent. Crawling insects make their way from the ground up to the pitcher opening, where they start feeding on the largest number of sugary secretions on the pitcher's lip. They are then caught in the trap, and it's all over. Deeper into the pitcher, downward, pointing hairs on the pitcher walls prevent escape. So there's really no way out. Which of these plants do you find most terrifying? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe for more upcoming content.